great. Congratulations, welcome to Philadelphia. We have a couple of media on here who um, are ready to start firing away with questions. Go ahead, John. Okay. Congratulations to you. Thank you, thank you so much. What is it that makes you a good safety and, and talk about your versatility as well out there? Um, what makes me a great safety is the fact that you just, you know, get multiple positions out of me. I can play corner, I can play nickel, I can play safety. In the box, I can go blitz for you. I can do anything, you know, for, for my team. Um, put my best, put put my best abilities in place to put my team in the best position to go out there and win games, win championships. And I'm a guy that play with passion, guy that plays with a lot of heart, guy that loves the game, guy that's gonna do everything he can to to get the upper hand on my opponents, whether it's watching film or or extra work after after practice. Man, I'm just a guy that's just hungry and is gonna go get it. We'll go Paul Domowicz and then Ed Kratz. Hey, Kayvon, congratulations. Thank you. Um, you. I believe you tied the uh, record at Clemson for games played, 59. Uh, yes, yes. You obviously played in just in a, a, a huge number of big games, playoff games over your career. How how valuable do you think all that's going to be coming into this league uh, with the experience you have? Um, the number one thing that just speaks out when, when you talk about all them games that I played, 59, is, is durability. A guy that's just, you know, do everything he can to prehab, and a guy that does everything he can to rehab. Um, you know, obviously I had a, a bunch of nicks and bruises through my career, but I'm a guy that's, you know, going to do everything he can to sacrifice and, and play. I'm a guy that's going to go out there and, and, and produce. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a productive player. I'm going to go out there and make plays for your team, make plays for your program. And I'm a guy that's going in, mm -hmm. in and out the locker room, just going to do everything he can to stay healthy, stay fit, and be ready to go. Ed and then Daniel Gallon. Hey, Kayvon, welcome to Philadelphia. Thanks, um, thank you. Yeah, just um, how much interaction did you have with the Eagles through the draft process, and, and how familiar are you with the Eagles roster? It's it's crazy uh, to to see, you know, the Eagles like fan base is the best I've seen. Um, this up there with Clemson, man. Just seeing how they supported me even before I even got drafted. During the first round, they was telling, you know, the the, the coaches to pull the trigger, and all these fans, you know, uh, DMing me on Instagram and saying, you know, we can't wait for you to be an Eagle. Um, the the fan base is incredible. It's incredible, man. And, um, the, the the players there, I don't know too much uh, uh, how many players there. I mean, not how many, but the, the known players there, um, you know, specifically. Mm -hmm. But I know that with me, um, you know, I'm going to get to know them. Um, I'm going to, you know, love this program, and I'm going to do everything I can to put my team in the best position to win. We go Daniel and then Rob Motti. Uh Congratulations and welcome to Philly. Uh, you, you you got to Clemson as you weren't necessarily the most highly touted recruit uh, three star uh, out of Richmond. Um, where do you think you made the biggest strides in your development uh, as a player to go from you know a three star to now a, a fourth round pick in the NFL draft? My my junior to senior year, um, I, I just took a different approach. Uh, my senior year was obviously my best year, and it's just because of what I did for my body what I did for my mental and, and my spiritual self. Um, I got I got heavy into the word. I got heavy into, you know, knowing what I put in my body um, because, you know, your body is a machine. And anytime you put anything wrong in it, the machine don't run right. So you just just eating better, doing doing better, uh, more film, more work, um, just, just doing more. And I felt like that's when I made my big jump, my big stride, and that's why I feel like uh, the Eagles just pulled the trigger on me in the fourth round. Go ahead, Rob, and then Martin Frank. Kayvon, what do you know about Brian Dawkins, a guy who, of course, went to Clemson, came to Philly, fan favorite, Hall of Famer, and uh, have you watched him? Have you ever spoken to him? Have you tried to model your game after his? Um, my game is unique. I feel like, you know, I'm a guy that just have a unique type of style, different type of style, new type of style of, of play. So I wouldn't say, you know, I model my game after him, but I definitely took bits and pieces of the greats to do that, he's definitely one of them. Um, I'm actually close friends with his son. Him, me and his son was roommates um, my first two, uh, two and a half years together in Clemson. 
And, you know, I met him throughout the whole process. And they, they like family to us. Um, my mom know his mom very well. They communicate here and there. But, um, you know, just we never really talk much football, man. We just talk about life. We just talk about, you know, our spiritual selves because he's he's a man of God first. And, you know, he just always want his son and, and I to, to be heavy in the word and be driven spiritually because that's that's where your passion comes from. And football all takes care of itself when you, when you got the right things in place. Martin and then Ruben Frank. Hey, Kayvon. I was actually going to ask you the same question about Brian, but since uh, you already answered it, um, how do you see yourself filling, fitting in with the Eagles defense? I mean, you you have experience both playing nickel and safety, and, and they kind of value versatility and everything. Do you think that would be, you know, a good fit for you and your skills and everything, and why do you think so? Yeah, um, just my versatility, I feel like it's one of the major reasons, you know, why they can draft me. And mm -hmm why they did draft me and just the way I play the game, the passion I have, the, the love I have for the game and knowing that, you know, coming in, I'm, I'm going to be a learner. I'm going to be first to listen and last to speak, man. I'm just going to go, you know, after those vets, then in the back end and, and learn as much as I can to, to go out there and produce special teams wise and, and, and help, you know, those vets, you know, put themselves in the best position to win, just like they do for me. I hope. And, I just can't wait to get to work, man. Can't wait to be be an eagle. Can't wait to get my number figured out. I can't. I can't wait, man. Fly eagles, fly. Rube and then Jeff Skiversky. Hey, Kayvon, welcome to Philly. Uh, thank hey, thank are you the kind of guy that's going to be patient to sit back and and you know just play special teams at first if, if that's your role, mm -hmm. or are you somebody that hey I want to get on the field on defense right away and 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 that's my goal? I'm a guy that's hungry. I'm a guy that is a competitor, and I'm going to compete. I'm going to fight you until until I get what I want, and that's just the type of guy that I am. Um, I'm, I'm a competitor, and that's that's everything that that I've been through as far as football. Uh, I always was successful because of the way I compete, the way I just go out there and just impose my will on my opponent, and just compete with the guys in, in the locker room. Um, I, I do it in a very respectful, friendly way. And I'm a guy that's just going to going to challenge you. I'm a guy that's going to you know, see what you're about and, and just compete overall. And um, the Eagles, Eagles know what they're getting with, with a type of guy like me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guy that's, you know, going to do anything I can to, to put my, my team in the best position to win. And I feel like the best way to do that is, is to be, become a starter uh, or, and become a huge, you know, fit and role in, in the special teams. And I'm going to do it every which way. And I'm going to do everything I can to help my team, for sure. Jeff and then Zach Berman. Kayvon, hey, congratulations. Welcome to the Philadelphia Eagles. Thank One of that, you. you know, with this team, they have rebuilt the secondary. And this team, the way it's built right now, it's a team that can make deep playoff runs, chase Super Bowls. For you that has played and won two national championships in four years at college, being in those big moments, being on that big stage, how much can that help you when you come to the Philadelphia Eagles, a team that is ready to win now? If, if you watch me play, man, you you notice that when the lights are on, big gangs I, I shine, and and, I, and that's when I play my best. And you know, being in the NFL, you you playing in front of millions every every game, and I feel like you know that's when I play my best. So you gonna get the best performance, best abilities, everything just great about you know who Kayvon Wallace is as a player, um, especially when that pressure is on. And I feel like every game is gonna be pressure. Every game is gonna be that big light. That big, that big opportunity to, to go out there and show and prove yourself. And I feel like I'm going to be that guy to go out there and prove myself every single night in practice and on game day. Zach, Daniel, and then we're open to anyone else who wants to jump in. Hey, Kayvon, it says in, in your bio that you had internships with the NFL and with Cisco. What were those internships? And I, I guess what did you learn from those experiences? Just getting the inside of what the NFL program is actually like. Um, just the, the, the behind the scenes, um, the officiating, to see how they, you know, make calls and go through what they go through, uh, the, the setup, the radio stations, the, the youth developments, about the community. Um, I, I learned so much just, just being there for the, for the NFL uh, uh, front office in Manhattan and just, just meeting all the, the greats there, like Roger Goodell, Troy Benson, and learning from them and, and them giving me knowledge. Um, I also did an internship at Cisco, learning from them about, you know, technology and how soft, software, uh, you know, goes 
um, in, in our community and in, in the world going on. And just, you know, just trying to expose myself to, to the corporate world and get a feel for, you know, how, how it is to, to wake up and go work at a nine to five. Kayvon, I think you set out a post, uh, just said, Kobe is my idol. This is crazy to play in his hometown. What did Kobe Bryant mean to you as, as your idol? And uh, do you have that Mamba mentality? I, I feel like that's one of the big reasons why I was a competitor, man. Just, I feel like, you know, obviously God, you know, blessed Kobe with abilities. But I feel like his competitive nature is what made him Kobe and what made him have that mama mentality. That's what made him known around the world to be a competitor, man. He just, the, the, the way he just played the game, the tenacity, um, the, the grit, the, the anger, the, the happiness, the sadness, everything that he played through, all the injuries, man. You look at his injury history and, you know, just seeing him still go out there giving all he got. Um, 80 point games, all types of things that he did to to put his team in the best position to win. I feel like, you know, that's the type of player I am. Um, I have that mama mentality, I have that coach mentality to go out there and compete, go out there and, and do everything I can. Whether I'm hurt, whether I got broken fingers, it doesn't matter. I'm going out there, it's going to sacrifice my body for this game and, and for my team. And I feel like that's exactly what he did. And that's why, you know, he was one of a big inspiration to me and big idol to me. Kayvon, it sounds like your uh, your phone is blowing up a lot, huh? Yeah, man. It's I got a lot of I got a lot of support here in Richmond, man. The, the city is is not you know too big, and, and every, it's all love here, man. Um, it's it's very rare that you know a guy like me, a guy from Richmond, Virginia, to to be exposed to to a platform like this, um, Cleveland Farrell, um, Makai Beckton. Uh, it's just a few guys that you can name that came out of the Richmond area. And were very successful, and, and, and kept on the path to, to to get to this point. And man, I'm one of the select few to, to be that. And the, the city of Richmond loves me, and I love them. And um, this is this is all for them, man. This is for my family, for my city, for for the Eagles fans, man. This is for everybody that supports me and, and love me, and and just invested time in into giving me knowledge and wisdom and, and love, man. And, and I owe it all to God, and, and I owe it all to to people that support me. Hey, what do you what do you remember about going up against um, Jalen Hurts in that national championship game? Uh, I just remember a guy that's just is a competitor. He, he's he's just like me when it comes to playing better when the lights are on. Um, you just look at his championship pedigree, his championship swagger, the games he played in, the big games. He always shined. Um, he was a guy that went out there and compete. Um, he, he didn't run away from competition. Um, he's a guy, you know, that I know that is, is, is genuine. I met him at the Senior Bowl for the first time, and he was a guy that's just very genuine, um, big-hearted guy and well-spoken, well-educated guy. And um, he, he actually uh, DM'd me um, when I when I got the call, you know, just congratulating me. And, you know, he's, he's a good friend of mine for sure. Hey, Kayvon, on the topic of, of getting out of Richmond, they said on the telecast you were the first one in your family to graduate high school. Uh, what was the significance of, of, of that for you and, and what set you apart? What set me apart was my mom. She really instilled in me that I had to be different. And just graduating high school wasn't good enough for her. Um, she, she wasn't satisfied with just doing that. Um, she was really going to be satisfied when I, when I graduated from college. And, um, you know, she told me when I graduated from college in December of 2019 that and no matter what I do, uh, she, she's happy with whatever I do, whatever decision I make. I stop playing football forever. She She's going to love me as if I won a Super Bowl. And she, mm -hmm. she always instilled hard work into me. And she always, you know, kept me safe, kept me out of harm's way. And with the help of God, she did that all on her own. And um, just knowing that, you know, with, with my mom, man, just her being by my side, she know that I love her. And with the support of her, I can do all the things. And, um, like I said, all she wanted for me was to graduate, and, and I did that for her. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you real quick. You mentioned uh, Troy Vincent. Uh, he was obviously a great defensive back here for a lot of years. I was wondering if there's anything specifically you learned from him 
from Troy, either about football or, or non-football, and just what your takeaway was with the time you spent with Troy. The, the, him, him and Brian are, are the same people, man. They they driven spiritually. They driven by you know Jesus Christ and their love and passion for him. And it, it was rarely football when I came to both of those guys. And I actually sat in, in Troy's office and talked to him for hours. Uh, me, me, and my teammate Darren Rencher, and we just talked about life, man. Just you know uh, how how to become a better man, better person. Um, he's a he's a family oriented guy. He loves his family, loves his wife, loves his kids, and just just talking to him and, and chatting with him about you know just life and, and what the Bible says, and just you know about you know how to become a better man, man, and how to help your community. Um, he's a guy that's invested in, in the community. He actually is invested in the Richmond community as well. Um, he was just talking about, you know, how I can put myself in a better position to help my community and and, and just basically become a better person, a better man. Your degree is in uh, communications. What what area or areas of communications did you study? Um, the... I did a bunch of uh, sports communication. Um, I, I was on a debate team for, for a semester. Um, I did a lot of public speaking, um, did a lot of public speeches. Um, I did a lot of, you know, traveling to, to different schools in the local Clemson area to, to speak and talk to those kids. Um, I got, my minor is in youth development. So I did a lot of, you know, youth development type of things, like, you know, going out there and helping the community. Or, or just speaking to kids, um, just doing little, little uh, videos here and there to to local kids that you know are dis disabled or um, are in low income areas, and just a lot of things like that that just came with my my Clemson uh, communication degree. Anybody else? All right, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. 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 Thank you.